Hey Trojans, it's Mr. Gardner. I got a quick story to share with you, and that is once upon a time before the coronavirus pandemic, Auburn High School had a two lunch bell schedule. We had an A lunch, we had a B lunch, and what COVID did, it forced us into a three lunch configuration, which um, nobody really seems to like. The teachers don't like it, the administrators don't like it. Um, it's tough on students that have B lunch because it interrupts their lessons. And um, anyway, we just felt we were a happier school and we had two lunches and it just makes us more efficient. So starting Monday, March 28th, A and B lunch will be just like we were before the pandemic. We will not have C lunch anymore, it will be A and B. So we will reconfigure lunches. So you, whatever lunch you have now, it could stay the same. You might have the first lunch or you might have the last lunch but there will be no middle lunch. So on your schedules, um, your teachers will be assigned either A or B. So understand that. Um, and again, that starts on Monday, March 31st, or 28th, sorry. The next thing yeah, we need to know is this is what the bell schedule is gonna look like to support a two lunch schedule. So the first schedule on the left is for PLC late start Mondays. And the schedule on the right is for a Monday, if we don't have PLCs, late start, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays, and Fridays. It's very similar to what we have right now. We're just dropping one lunch. And because of that, we're able to add five minutes back into Troy time. So we're back to where we were in the 2019-20 school year. All right. Half the school doesn't even know what that looks like. The other half, if you were sophomores and freshmen before the pandemic you've done this before and you've done it really well okay the other thing that's bringing to us uh kind of as the uh coronavirus is not having as much of an effect on our school is we're able to get back to our eating areas and in the past we used the courtyards we used the commons and then we have these areas known as quiet eating areas okay and they're located on the second floor and on the third floor in those orange areas. We don't call them the stairwells, even though they're located on the stairwell platforms because we don't want students sitting on the stairs. Number one, they're gross. Number two, that's considered a fire hazard. And we've actually received a written warning from the fire marshal when they saw lots of students on our main stairs. That's why we have to keep it cleared. It's totally for safety for if we ever have to do some kind of an evacuation. Okay, so just understand that. So the areas you can eat in are the commons. We have plenty of seating there, both courtyards. Now that we have tents out there, you can stay out of the weather too. And we can eat in that area. Hopefully this is showing up as kind of lavender purple. It's that hallway in front of Auburn Cafe. You can eat along the ledges there. And then once you get to the double doors where the ledges end, um, that's where you gotta stop. And then like I said, the quiet areas. Um, where can I eat, how it works, the commons, east or west courtyard, hallway in front of Auburn Cafe. Auburn High School is a closed campus from the time you arrive to school until 2.40. We do not allow DoorDash deliveries at Auburn High School. Food orders will be sent back, just understand that. However, if your family is delivering food or legal guardian, they can drop it off in the attendance office, okay? That's where it needs to be. Too many students are having or to have to come to school and we're just not dealing with that. All right, here's the areas you cannot go to. You can't go past the double doors in the North End. We no longer are opening up our learning areas, our learning zones for eating. We don't have to do that anymore. If you're new to Auburn High School as a freshman or sophomore or new as an upperclassman, I know that's been kind of the norm, the normal thing we've been doing this year. That's not normal for us. We keep those areas quiet because we consider those learning zones. So we're gonna go back to what we did before. So just understand that, okay? You should not be in the hallways. The only hallway you should be in is the one by the student store, by Auburn Cafe. Other than that, you need to be in classrooms or you need to be at lunch. Okay, moving along, uh, the quiet eating spaces. Uh, they're on the 300 landing above the library. They're the east and west quiet eating areas at the end of the hallways. There's green countertops designated for the quiet areas. The library in the past, we've used that as a quiet eating area too. We're gonna start that. We're gonna make sure our students are doing a good job keeping those areas clean. Um, once upon a time at Auburn, you would have been in trouble if you would have been in those areas eating lunch, okay? 
So just know this isn't like something that's always been, but we put those countertops in there, we've created space, but students, you have to keep your areas clean. And like I said, no DoorDash, orders will be sent back, food deliveries by family, or legal guardians must go through the attendance office only. All right, Troy values, here's how we can reflect them. Tables are for everyone, invite students to sit with you, okay? We wanna do things together. Clean up after yourself and eat in designated eating areas. Help your friends by reminding them to clean up before leaving, okay? That's huge. Um, all students need to feel safe and comfortable with eating at AHS. Students are be to be respectful, embrace diversity, which you guys do really well, positively engage with others in the, in the building, and practice respect. Take ownership in your school environment as well as with your learning. This is our school, and we want everyone to be proud of it. Thank you for listening, and I hope you'll have some conversations with your Troy Time teacher. Thank you.